Hello friends, myself Ujwal. Today our topic is polynomial. So what is meant by polynomial? An algebraic expression of the form p of x equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 plus so on a1 plus x plus a0 where n is a positive integer and a0, a1, a2 are the real number. It is called the polynomial in variable x. See the example 2x plus 3 is a polynomial with degree 1. Another example 2x square plus 3x plus 7 it is also polynomial with the degree is 2. Another example 4x cube plus 7x plus 2x plus 7 it is also polynomial with the degree is 3. Okay. So this is the polynomial. Then now we will see the types of polynomial. There are some types of polynomial. First is a constant polynomial. What is a constant polynomial? A polynomial with the degree is 0 is called the constant polynomial. For example, p of x equal to 7, g of x equal to 5, p of x equal to 0. So this type of polynomial is called constant polynomial. Okay? Then another linear polynomial. What is meant by linear polynomial? A polynomial with the degrees what it is called the linear polynomial. Ax plus b it is the general form of linear polynomial. A should not equal to 0 then it is linear polynomial. For example 3x plus 2 it is a linear polynomial. Next is quadratic polynomial. What is meant by quadratic polynomial? A poly polynomial having the degree is 2 then it is a quadratic polynomial. What is the general form of quadratic polynomial? ax square plus bx plus c it is the general form of quadratic polynomial where a is not equal to 0. If the a is equal to 0 then a equal to 0 they remain what is remain b x plus c it is not a polynomial that's why it is a polynomial but it is a linear polynomial but we will discuss about the quadratic polynomial so if you write the a uh, 0 x square plus b x so it is a converted in linear polynomial it is not a quadratic polynomial then next is cubic polynomial what is mean by cubic polynomial the polynomial having the degree is 3 then it is called a cubic polynomial for what is the general form of cubic polynomial a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d it is the cubic general form of polynomial for example 4 x cube plus 7 x square plus 3 x plus 5 it is a cubic polynomial then another is next is Biquadratic polynomial. What is the biquadratic polynomial? A x to the power 4 plus P x to the power 3 plus C x to the power 2 plus D x plus E. It is the biquadratic polynomial. What is meant by biquadratic polynomial? The having the degree is 4. It is the biquadratic polynomial. C the value of polynomial. What is meant by polynomial? If the p of x, if the p of x be any polynomial and a be the real number, then real number obtained by putting the value x equal to a in the p of x, then it is called the value of p of x at x equal to a. It is denoted by p of a. Let us see the example. The value of p of x 2x square plus 4x plus 1 at x equal to 2. The here according to definition the when you put x equal to 2 
in this expression then we will get the value of p of x so now replace the value of x p of 2 equal to 2 into x instead of 2 or uh, x instead of which value 2 so put 2 square plus 4 into 2 plus 1 so 2 into what is the 2 square 4 plus 4 into 2 8 plus 1 so what is the answer 8 plus 9 total answer is 17 17 is the answer of the value of p of x ok then now we will see the zero of polynomial what is meant by zero of polynomial if the p of a equal to zero then the real number a is called the zeros of polynomial what is the condition if the p of a equal to zero then a is the zero of polynomial see the example the value of p of x equal to x square minus 3x minus 4 at x equal to minus 1 this is the condition x equal to minus 1 put the value in this expression x instead of so p of minus 1 equal to minus 1 square minus 3 into minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 square 1 minus minus plus 3 into 1 3 minus 4 so here 4 minus 4 equal to 0 the p of minus 1 is equal to 0 that means the value of p of x is 0 at the condition of x minus 1 therefore minus 1 is a 0 of polynomial p of x x square minus 3x minus 4 the zeros and the coefficient of quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial have two factor so we consider here two factor that is alpha and beta ok so let alpha and beta be a be the zeros of polynomial p of x equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 then x minus alpha and x minus beta be the factor of p of x here alpha and beta are the fact zeros of this polynomial so that's why we consider here x minus alpha x minus beta be the factor of this polynomial ok now p of now ax square plus bx plus c equal to we are considering here two factor x minus alpha x minus beta so write here k into x minus alpha and x minus beta we consider here two factor also we consider here k k is a where k is a constant so now solve first fact first bracket into second bracket k as it is first bracket x first number x multiplied by second bracket x minus beta second number of first bracket minus alpha into second bracket minus x minus beta k into x into x x square x into beta minus beta x minus alpha into x alpha x minus minus plus alpha into beta alpha beta Therefore, k into x square minus here we take a common from these two number. What is the common? Minus in bracket. When you remove the minus sign, what is remain in bracket? Beta. 
डे प्लस अल्फा प्लस अल्फा बीटा सो के इंटू सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय द के इंटू द ब्रैकेट के एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस के इंटू अल्फा प्लस बीटा इंटू एक्स प्लस के अल्फा बीटा सो ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी नाउ कंपेरिंग द टर्म ऑन द बोथ साइड कंपेरिंग द कोफिशन फिशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर एक्स एंड कॉन्स्टंट टर्म on the both side then we will get we get here first term a x square equal to k x square so x square x square get cancel what is remain a equal to k then second b x equal to minus k alpha beta x so b equal to x x get cancel what is remain b equal to माइनस के अल्फा प्लस बीटा देन थर्ड टर्म दैट इज सी सी इक्वल टू के अल्फा बीटा नाउ वी टेक हियर माइनस के अल्फा प्लस बीटा इक्वल टू बी नाउ फूट के इक्वल टू ए फ्रॉम दिस From this, so k instead of a put here a equal minus a alpha plus beta equal to b alpha plus beta keep as it is and the minus a shift to this side that is the man divided by a so minus sign we can write the numerator b minus a minus b upon a alpha plus beta means sum of the zeros because alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial and they are sum so we can write the sum of zeros equal to minus sign b b where is b from the quadratic polynomial b is the coefficient of x so we can write here coefficient of x divided by here a a means here coefficient of x square coefficient of x square okay then now c equal to so k k alpha beta equal to c put here k equal to a so k instead of put the value a so a alpha beta इक्वल टू सी अपॉन ए तो अल्फा बीटा इक्वल टू ए अल्फा बीटा ए अल्फा बीटा इक्वल टू सी एंड अल्फा बीटा की कैपेसिटी सी अपॉन दिस ए विल हियर इन डिमेरेटर Alpha beta are the zeros. They are each product, so we can write the product of zeros equal to c means here constant term upon coefficient of x square. A means coefficient of x square. This is the relation between the zeros and and the coefficient of quadratic polynomial again remember things one when the alpha beta are the poly zero the polynomial they we can write the polynomial p of a p of x equal to k x square minus alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta here k is a constant k is a constant and here alpha plus beta means sum of the zeros and here alpha into beta they are sum of the products without 
कांस्टेंट के कैन राइट द पी ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्र माइनस एक्स अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस अल्फा इंटू बीटा दिस इज द क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोम वेन यू आस्किंग द फाइंड क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोम दैट टाइम यूज दिस फार्मूला पॉलिनोम क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम देर आर थ्री फैक्टर्स दैट इज अल्फा बीटा गैमा देर आर द बी दीरो क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम सो यू कैन राइट हियर लेट अल्फा बीटा एंड गैमा गैमा बी दीरोज ऑफ क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम polynomial that is p of x equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d where a is not equal to 0 then x minus alpha x minus beta and x minus gamma d the factor of P of x, be the factor of p of x. We are not explaining the derivation and expression, so we can write the formula because this expression cannot ask in exam directly asking the related to problems. So we write here only the formula. So here three factors. So first is alpha, beta. And gamma, the sum of the zeros equal to what is the sum of the zero? That is minus b upon a. So this is the sum of the zero. We can write sum of the zeros equal to minus sign b is is the coefficient of x square. So coefficient of x square upon a is a coefficient of x cube coefficient of x cube this is the first formula second formula alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha equal to what is the formula c upon a so here alpha into beta beta into gamma gamma into alpha so these these are the product sum of the product sum of the product sum of the products taken two zeros at the same time equal to equal to what is here c c means coefficient of x coefficient of x and a means coefficient of x square coefficient of sorry x cube this is the formula and the third alpha beta gamma equal to minus d upon a so alpha beta gamma that is the product of of zeros equal to Minus sign d means constant terms terms and a means the coefficient of of x cube. This is the formula of cubic polynomial. Now we will see the some example related to. Uh, relation between the zeros and coefficient. What is the question? Find the zeros of polynomial p of x equal to x square plus 3x minus 10. First, we have p of x equal to x square plus 3x minus 10. Okay. So here, this is the quadratic polynomial. So by splitting method, we Solve this problem and make the factor. So how to solve? 
so here first this is the first term and last term so multiply so what is the multiplication <coughs> minus 10 x square so make a factor what is the factor 5 and 2 here x square so multiply x to the 5 multiply x to the 2 then here minus sign but we, we want here plus 3 so we want here plus 3 so bigger sign due to plus bigger number give the plus sign and smaller number give the negative sign then 5 to the 10 minus 10 it's come this factor write down here in middle terms x square my plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 make a pair and then, then take a common what is the common x then what is remain x plus 5 then here minus 2 common then what is remain x plus 5 here there are two similar brackets so write down see common bracket x plus 5 and another bracket x minus 2 so this is the factor of this quadratic polynomial according to according to the definition of zeros of polynomial p of x equal to 0 so we can write here therefore x plus 5 and x minus 2 equal to 0 then x plus 5 equal to 0 x minus 2 equal to 0 then here 5 is right, uh, shift to right side so answer will be minus 5 and here answer will be plus 2 so minus 5 and plus 2 these are the factor so therefore the zeros of polynomial are minus 5 and 2 so these two this is the zeros of polynomial and now we will see the next is relation between the zeros and coefficient so we know that alpha plus beta equal to 10 plus 2 so here minus 5 it, it's a value of alpha plus and 2 it's a value of beta so what is the answer minus 3 we can write minus 3 minus 3 by 1 here alpha plus beta means sum of zeros equal to minus 3 so write minus and 3 is a coefficient of x coefficient of x and here denominator in 1 so here 1 is the coefficient of x square so write here coefficient of x square then so then the product alpha into beta alpha into beta minus 5 into 2 so what is the answer minus 10 so minus 10 can be written as 10 by 1 and here alpha into beta that is the product of zeros equal to minus 10 it is a constant value constant value upon and 1 is a coefficient of x square this is the relation between the zeros and coefficient of quadratic polynomial and this is the minus 5 and 2 are the zeros of polynomial thank you for watching this video and please subscribe the channel and